yeah, feminism is, is actually coming within the church, right? And it's taking that masculine role within the church in mm -hmm. the leadership or with the men that are there and it's having a big effect, right? Yeah. And often yeah. you'll see, and even if you study history as well, the moment that, that the church compromises, right? There is an immediate reward, right? There is an immediate growth yeah, because yeah. When you compromise, you're adding a group into your church. Yeah. Peace you're... in the culture, peace yeah. around, yeah. With but the then people around as you. time goes, you see, because the spirit of the Lord is not there, the blessing of the Lord is not there, the teaching of the word is also not there. Mm. Therefore, you see believers moving out and you see these movements falling apart, right? That's right. And you That's got right. like progressive uh, Christianity is one of them. Mm -hmm. It was big thing. But now if you look at the statistics, those churches are falling out, yeah, right? They're yeah. getting empty. They're falling because, and a lot of it is because the younger guys, they're sick of the feminizing yeah. of the culture. Because men know, they know when they're being sold, you know, a, a, a rubbish um, package. You know, they know that if you're, if you're telling them masculinity is bad and feminism is good or the feminine fe characteristics are good but masculinity is bad a boy especially growing out of puberty who's full of testosterone they know that's crap yeah they know that that's not the way it should be that's not the way that i'm made i'm biologically wired for you know this this strength and this um this um push and this drive that doesn't fit in with the feminine yeah. ideal and so they're pushing back against it the problem is where they're going with it yeah. That's the issue. Oh, well, uh, yeah. we did speak a lot about yeah. that in part one and mm. part two. Yeah. Uh, but we, we definitely see both extremes, mm. as you were mentioning earlier. Yeah. And as a church, we're, we're not saying it's either this or that. No. no. We want to introduce not something new. It's very ancient. The but biblical it's ground. Biblical yeah. understanding yeah. of it. Yeah. Right. And um, it, this is something I even speak to my wife about um, in, in, our, in our time that she's like, well, this is your role. Like even my wife recognizes my role of course. In, in, of course. in our marriage. And for the Christian men out there, um, I don't want you to be discouraged thinking that in order for me to have a marriage, attract a woman, that I need either to feminize myself, to either please a certain group and find mm -hmm. someone there, or um, adopt this modern masculinity and try and attract someone else there. Yeah. You can attract a believing uh, woman, a God-fearing woman, if you're living out to be a godly man. It's actually interesting. That's a very interesting point there because there are a lot of um, women who are like, we need to normalize the feminine nature of a man. You know, we need to normalize making men feminine. And then there was this one specific girl who was saying that on her. She was an influencer. She was saying that and then... The moment a feminine man comes into her life, she's like, yeah, he's just not my type, you know? Yeah. So you, you get that. You you don't live your life trying to please certain groups or certain people. You live your life in an attempt to please God and do things his way. And I assure you, the woman of God will come into your life as God has planned. I truly believe that. So, so in saying that, it seems like there is an illusion Absolutely. where um, women would feel like, I need a man um that is to this specifications mm. right mm. having these kind of attributes but then once they start living with this person yeah. or dating that person you're not meant to be living with them unless you're married um being with that person they quickly find out that naturally speaking and even spiritually since we're talking about christian relationships is that something is wrong there of course it's, it's not fitting it's not working out so therefore they leave that person yeah. and they try and find someone else, yeah. but they don't realize that their core ideology, the, the spirit behind their thoughts is not godly. It's yeah. not coming from God. So in order for us to have a happy relationship from a Christian perspective and not from a Christian perspective, as in to speak as if we are a group of people, no, this is reality. This is the truth. This mm -hmm. is how God intended it. For every man, every woman, whether you're a Christian or not, God has a certain design of course. in man and in woman, and he knows what a happy marriage can look like or a happy relationship. Of course. So as Christian men, 
and even I would encourage the Christian women if they are listening to this, feminism is not the answer. Absolutely not. Uh, modern masculinity is not the answer. Biblical relationship is. Godly relationship is. Holy, pure relationship is. That is the answer for you to have and find a good partner and have a long-lasting relationship. Amen.